Hi. Oh. It's me. What is up, you guys? Um, we didn't really leave off on a good note. Uh, let's see. I'm still pregnant. <laughs> I am definitely still pregnant, honey, okay? She's in there looking like a big old basketball. I'll actually be 39 weeks tomorrow, which is insane because nobody, including myself, <laughs> nobody thought that I would get this far in my pregnancy just because of how it has gone this entire time. But the Lord is faithful. We are officially completely full term now, and I am just, Oh my gosh, you guys, full term babies, carrying, being able to carry your baby to full term, even if the pregnancy hasn't been the best, is such an underrated blessing. <sighs> so we made it and I am, I, I seriously cannot be any more thankful because nobody thought that I would make it this far and Thank you, Jesus. I am actually in early labor. I've been in early labor for a few days now. And then yesterday, um, my mucus plug started coming out. Um, I've been having some intense contractions, but they're not regular yet. They're still pretty sporadic. Um, so I'm just chilling. We're still nesting. We're still getting some things done around the house. Um, we're doing like a master bedroom, a primary bedroom refresh right now. So Elliot is currently putting up our new bed frame, which is exciting. And he said the other day, it seems like every time we like have a big life transition, especially a baby, we like get a new bed. And I was like, oh, yeah, you're kind of right. But our last bed we've had for over three years at this point. So it was time, okay? Um, when Alora gets home, we have a campaign to shoot, a really exciting campaign to shoot. And I am so excited for this new partnership. I am so grateful. I don't think I can say anything about it yet, but it's a pretty big opportunity that I'm just so grateful for. Do I wanna do like a separate, I don't know. I was thinking about doing like a separate registry haul. Oh my gosh, I cannot. Um, go any further in this video without telling you guys thank you all of the YouTube aunties and sisters and all of you for all of the registry gifts I was not expecting people to buy anything off of that registry I really wasn't but you guys really came through and we have so much stuff out in this hallway and I try not to put too much too many things on the registry because again if you if you've been keeping up with me you know that I have been trying to downsize and declutter and I'm on this like simplifying my life kind of journey if you will so um because this is my second baby I kind of know what I need and what I don't need and so I didn't really do a lot of um I didn't put a lot on the registry, but I do want to do a must have, a registry must have and the things that you actually don't need. And then I wanna haul everything that we got from the registry just to say thank you and, you know, to show my gratitude <laughs> toward you guys because that is just, like, I, I can't believe it. Um, I did want to say though that I am doing a whole lot better a whole lot better like i said i just needed that release you know um i've been praying i have been allowing the word to really do some things internally for me um i've been talking with wise counsel i have been you know of course talking to my husband and being encouraged by him and we had one of the most beautiful conversations i think that we've ever had within our marriage um, because you know when stuff hits the fan y'all and everything just comes at you all at once it can be really really scary and I feel like that's just what that's 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 just what's been happening you know but since then I <laughs> have gotten it together okay and I am just so excited to meet our new little princess. I am so excited. I cannot wait to just see her and kiss her and squeeze her juicy little cheeks. We 
because her cheeks are juicy. I have a lot of ultrasound pictures. <laughs> I'm just gonna take you guys along with me throughout my day. We have a lot to do today. Uh, matter of fact, let me read my to-do list and I promise you we won't be having any breakdowns today, okay? <laughs> promise and then when I was in prayer earlier I literally just asked the Lord to multiply my time today and I feel like that's exactly what he has been doing the main thing though is to just get this campaign done and make sure that our entire place is clean and organized especially the bedroom where we're all sleeping at. I'm gonna show you guys the updates in the bedroom and then I have to put up the baby monitor and the changing table. There's a lot we got to do, girl, okay? And I'm gonna just be taking you along with me. So let's go. You guys, we're doing, we're shooting this campaign and I want you to see behind the scenes because when I tell you my child is magnificent at being in front of the camera, <laughs> let me show you though. Now run and go get the lotion. Go towards the couch. Now jump down off the couch and hand me the lotion. We are pulling up to the hospital right now. We're at my 39 week appointment. And I was considering getting my membrane swept today. But the thing is, I am really trying to be spirit led when it comes to how this baby comes and God's perfect timing and all of that. So I don't I don't want to force anything. There's one right there. I don't want to force anything. So if I'm like, I don't know. My due date is Tuesday and I have an appointment on Tuesday. So if she isn't here by Tuesday, then I think I'll, I'll do it then. Like I, that's how I'm kind of feeling led to do things. But as far as me forcing labor by getting my membrane swept today i don't think i want to do that I'm, I'm gonna see how dilated i am i'm gonna just let her check my cervix and see if i've dilated anymore last time she checked i was one centimeter which is progress and 50 percent effaced so if i'm like more effaced or thinned out and more dilated then I know how things are progressing and then I'll feel a little bit better at the next appointment but I just want to be prepared as much as possible when it comes to our home being ready for the baby and it's not yet so like if I could just have one more weekend to do everything that I need to do that I want to do um, that would be great which is why I'm trying to hold out until Tuesday, so. Okay, let me clarify because I don't know. Again, I, I, I didn't have this experience with the Laura, so this is fairly new to me. I thought active labor was six centimeters. It's four. update I'm in active labor but um I'm not gonna go to the birth center until I feel like it's time to go I'm, I have stuff to do so I'm just gonna be chilling till then I guess I just um I just don't understand why okay so now that I'm thinking about it my midwife her reaction she's so cute she say you're there now some along those lines and I'm thinking what are you talking about I don't know why I had in my mind that it's go time like for real go time at six why didn't she tell me that because it probably is for a go time at six from the midwife perspective and not just everybody has got the same this thing has changed probably y'all told me that things are different Just like when, the, when he said, when it's premature labor. 
You need me? No. No. Oh. We have been accumulating all of this registry stuff for the past two weeks maybe so it's time to do a registry haul and i'm gonna do this and organize everything at the same time so oh um, this is from my aunt <laughs> so i have a manual medela pump that i've been using for my colostrum letdown and then i just hand express my colostrum so i have the medela manual and then the pump that i plan on using to like collect my breast milk or whatever is the spectra spectra something something it's it's the one i used with elora um it's the pink one so i had to buy well i had to get because my aunt gifted me this but i had to get the new spectra parts because i think with each baby you're supposed to get new pump parts if you're going to use the same pump elliot is unboxing everything Sorry. that's what the noise is it's very loud i just got some new these are the collector bottles from spectra let me zoom in a little bit breast milk storage bottle now these don't come with the nipples the bottle nipples this is just what you collect your milk in as you're pumping i'm also gonna just put this on my postpartum cart since that's where it's gonna go so it came with new tubes like all the parts for the the uh, spectra pump oh speaking of breastfeeding and pump parts and all that i also got the haka i used this with Alora too and i remember in those first days i got so much milk just from putting this on uh whatever boob she wasn't feeding on at the time and like it's crazy how much milk you can get with not even having to pump in those first few weeks or days or whatever so um someone gifted me this and last time i think i got the off-brand haka they all work the same pretty much but i got the um name brand this time i love this thing so excited for that i need to put that on my nightstand as well but i'm gonna take this out of the box so that I can throw all of the excess trash away and we don't have to do this again. Well, what is the point of doing all that if I have to mark it up? That's. If y'all ain't got no handy husband, you better get you some handy brothers. Most of the lights that you need to be put up, who put them up? I did. Now you don't have to measure nothing for that. You do what you can. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Kurt That's what I'm saying. You do what you can. I'm not taking that away from you, but. But as far as as me measuring stuff. So okay, this is what the haka looks like. This is actually this looks different from the, the last one. I don't even remember what brand I had last time. This one looks different, but we gotta clean and sterilize this. Oh. Speaking of haka again, they they have some stuff. Haka has the bulb syringes. The nasal aspirator things. Didn't know that. So I put this on my registry as soon as I saw it. I have the Nosy Boo for Laura. We use that pretty much every day because she has really bad allergies and she gets sick often because she's in school. So yeah, we have the Nosy Boo. I've tried pretty much every nasal aspirator under the sun. The Nosy Boo is my favorite, but it's very expensive. It's like 170 something dollars. It's a really great investment, but it's whatever. Oh, yes, it's very expensive. So I'm gonna try the Haka one. There is this brand at Walmart called the the Nasal Nasal Med or something like that. I don't know. I have a link in the description box, but that's one of our favorite manual. Um, no suction things i just wanted to try this one so this is what i have i'm gonna put this on my um postpartum cart too oh look how tiny look at the tip it's so tiny look at that we're about to have another baby look at this <laughs> so cute of course we have Alora's big sister books she's been reading these i don't know why this is out here oh these i think these are the um the bath towels yeah 
these are hooded bath towels i still don't know what kind of organization i'm gonna do for her clothes and towels and stuff not yet anyway so what i was gonna do is use elora's closet for elena's belongings because she has all of these pink bins at the top of her closet that aren't really being utilized right now so i don't know i, I gotta figure that out but these are hooded bath towels let me show you so this is the hood part avi and then they're just super cute Ooh, these are very very soft i'm gonna have to i'm gonna wash all this stuff hopefully i can have it done by tomorrow evening but we'll see how that goes these are some more clothes five pack of pants oh my goodness look how tiny look at this i put two hospital gowns on my registry and both of them were gifted a lot of most of the stuff i didn't think y'all were gonna <laughs> gift us which is just so sweet but of course i got this pink one i need to wash this so that i can put it in my hospital bag these are the gowns that i'm gonna be wearing at the birth center i kind of want to labor in one of them just so that i'm comfortable because those hospital gowns are itchy and scratchy and your butt is hanging out and ain't nobody got time for all that and then i got a black one so i got a pink one and a black one i don't know if, is this the same brand no i don't think it is the pink one i got in a large and i think this one is in a large too so that i'm nice and comfortable and both of these are breast feeding friendly Oh, I couldn't get that out. You open all these boxes? Mm -hmm. We got more baby clothes. I think my mom bought this stuff. Oh my gosh, these smell awful. Yuck. These definitely have to get washed. Swaddle wraps. Helps soothe a crying baby, promote longer and sounder sleep. Um, transparently, I'm not really a fan of swaddles, swaddling, because I discovered, well, I'm not even going to share that information because it's very controversial but i'll just say from personal experience my child my first child did not like being swaddled so we'll see how elena does we have this new i'm going to show you guys this new when they get finished in the bedroom but we have this new as the bassinet i'm not sure how that's going to go because you have to the baby has to be swaddled while they're in the snoo for it to even work so I don't know, we'll see. Okay, so we have more clothes. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of getting redundant. So I'm just gonna unpack all of the clothes and then I'll be back to show you the um, lounger that we got. We got a um, the carrier. I'm gonna show you the carrier that we got and then we'll move on to something else. Okay, cause I know this is getting a bit like snoozy. Give me a second. Baby doll, may this gift be a blessing to Elena. Be encouraged and continue to be gentle on yourself. Woman of God. From LaDonna Glover. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you, Miss LaDonna. This is very, very sweet. And she gift wrapped it. Let's see. I have well, no idea what this is. Money, so. Huh? So that gift wrap is extra money. I know. And she spelled Elena's name right. <laughs> that's so sweet. I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's the lounger. It's a baby lounger. How cute. Oh, it's unicorns and ice cream. <laughs> it's so cute. Babe, can you bring me the scissors, please? Isn't this so cute? Look at this lounger. Look. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, here's the carrier. I was definitely not expecting anybody to get this because it is not cheap we have another gift wrap thing these are some muslins that need to be washed enjoy your gift from mary a crowell thank you miss mary okay this is the baby carrier that we had on the registry this one has a lot of really really good reviews i like it because it's simple and you don't have to do the like tying thing i had a couple of those with elora and i just didn't care for him like I wanted to be able to just put it on snap it on and go this one looks super duper simple and comfortable so um, it's the ergo baby embrace cozy newborn carrier oh this is the, the baby bath I was wondering what the heck this big old box was oh my gosh this is so big 
baby bath we got. So with Elora, we had one of those insert thingies. Like I had that cute little flower insert and I just put it in the sink to give her a bath. I wasn't a fan. Um, they get moldy and like mildewy too fast. You're gonna have to wash it after every bath that you give because you don't want it to stay wet and it was just a headache. So I decided to put an actual tub on the registry and our friends John and Shanita gifted this to us. So it's a rain shower baby spa bath. I don't know, it looks super fancy to me. It has a shower head. My really good girlfriend, Asia, sent over a whole bunch of stuff that she had sitting around. She also just had another baby girl. So she sent us a bunch of diapers and clothes. Oh my gosh, she sent so much clothes and like bottles and stuff. So just wanted to give a public shout out to her. We got so much stuff. Our church gifted us this cute little baby set. Just a whole other bunch of stuff that I still need to show you guys. But I know that you're probably sick of me talking, so I'm gonna show you the progress that they're making in the bedroom because I know you hear them in the background. The lighting is better out here. Ooh, wow. I have on my no makeup makeup look today. I can't even see myself because it's so bright out here. My brother Ben is here. He's been here dang near all day helping us like do things around the house. He is very single. I be trying to hook him up. So to answer y'all's question, because I know y'all are gonna ask <laughs> every single time. Y'all see one of Elliot's friends or something, y'all ask if they're single. Before y'all ask, the answer is yes, he's single, okay? <laughs> okay, so this is what we have going on in the bedroom. They already hung our chandelier. I just gotta get some light bulbs for it. Yeah, just like a swing this one as you go, just look good for uh, any angle. So what do you do to fix that? Do what you just said. Hit it. Yeah. You need it's a hammer. A, apply a little more. Is there a hammer in here? I have um. The thing right here. The oh, here it is. I see my little Do trust you need anything? Do I need that? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah, the there's a lot of morning, updates being made to the bedroom because one thing I'm not about to do is be postpartum in a dungeon and just be sitting here in a bedroom that I don't like. So I've been doing like. A few decor updates. Um, I am glad this thing doesn't take internet connection. Yeah, that's why I got it. But it's not going to go right there. Um, I got to take the stickers off of the bed. Got to get some light bulbs right. for the chandelier. This is the baby monitor that we got, guys. I don't know if I said that already. Um, what is this? The that's something really something cool. infant optics. That looks straight. Yeah, it does to me too. Yeah, Alright, update y'all real quick. I think I am in active labor right now. I keep having these contractions back to back to back and they're getting more and more people. I'm trying to wait until Ben finishes putting up my last picture and then we're gonna go to the hospital. Um I've been timing my contractions since like around 5 45 and they have not stopped so we're about to go to the birth center and see if this is a real thing or not and i need y'all to pray that it is because when i say i'm over it that's exactly what i mean a baby tonight finally I get to meet my little princess princess number two and as far as the pain management goes I'm just breathing but um, I also just requested some nitrous oxide because no
Say hello. This is a bull. I can't say the word because I'm saved. This is some bull crap. You know what? Nope, I'm not even going to think about it like that. Exactly. It's what your mindset. This is crazy. Some crazy stuff. It is, what time is it? 12.38. Where are my glasses at? It is almost 1 o'clock in the morning, and we're about to have a baby. Yeah. I just don't know when. I hope it's soon, because I really miss my other baby. And I feel so horrible because we said we were going to take her to the mall and we never caught her back. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to cry. No, we just fine. But have you talked to her recently? Mom, mom said she was texting me right now so that they were laying in the bed. She'll be fine. No one knows. But guess what? I don't think she knows. Yeah, you're worried about it all, 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 all too much. The same thing we just talked about. I know you're a mom, so it's hard not to uh, not to think about her. But <clears throat> she said you didn't want to be worried about it. Well, I am. My other baby is sunny side up still, so we're trying to get her to turn. These kids got dog it. Um, yeah, so I don't know how dilated I am, but I'm assuming she was, she just said it's still around five and six, five to six. I thought I transitioned, I did not. And I'm just, I'm just laying here like, how in the world? I kept on y'all. This is a very different experience from the experience I had with Laura. Um, I'm not going to get an epidural. I'm going to try not to anyway. Right now, the only thing I'm using for like pain management is breathing and nitrous oxide. The nitrous oxide is working a little bit as far as like taking the edge off because I finally learned how to do it and it's like working in my favor but other than that I'm just like oh my god I want this to be over I'm trying to like enjoy it as much as possible but how can you enjoy being in labor Jesus didn't enjoy being on the cross yeah, right. he sure did he sure didn't <clears throat> so why in the world would I enjoy being in labor so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll check in with you guys when um, things turn up a notch. Uh oh. Appreciate the uh, the W before my new one it. comes in town. Me and you, like always. <laughs> Want to make some TikToks? <laughs> what? <laughs> that <laughs> that laughing gas got you stuck. <laughs> I should make some some TikToks with your dog on self. I'm drinking some of your water too. <laughs> we got this well. Ain't nothing else to do. Shoot. Guess what though? Once Elena comes out your vagina, guess who's off for three months? I forgot. I forgot too. Until I was walking back in with the food, I said, oh, what's up? <laughs> I said, I'm about to be on leave for three months. I said, glory to the Son of God. How perfect is that? We, I just knew it. I knew it. Some told me, I said, well, I got Monday off. 
What's that? Oh, that baby coming this weekend. What well, does having Monday off having to do? It's have just the way that things worked out. Laura got Monday off. Right. She gets oh. to get adjusted with her with her little sister. She put. We might t leave her out of school Tuesday. Yeah. Um. But it's just an ease. We got here Saturday night. Uh, I was in labor for 12 hours. I pushed for 20 minutes. She came out yesterday morning. It's 1.30 and we're on our way home. I'm so happy, I don't know what to do. When I tell y'all, this was the craziest 12 hours of my life. I did not think that I was gonna make it out alive. I really didn't. I feel like I got gang banged, ran over by a, a truck a few times, but um, all is well. She's perfectly healthy. Um, I didn't tear. I pushed her out in 20 minutes, which is crazy that I didn't tear. Um, I am fine. I'm completely at peace. And like the way that this whole thing happened is just a testament of the Lord's faithfulness. And like, I cannot wait to share her birth story because y'all know this whole pregnancy in general has been um, miraculous to say the least but like to see how it all ended it's just like wow God is just like I'm speechless um, so yeah we're headed home I'm so excited Elora is so excited I cannot wait to go home to see her um She's a really good eater. She's been sleeping really well. So like we're on a good schedule already. Hopefully that doesn't change. I don't think that's gonna change because y'all know I'm like the baby sleep whisperer. So I'm just excited to go home and enjoy our new lives as a family of four. share my the birth story later but basically we were in labor for 12 hours I pushed for 20 minutes and she was here so today is the next day and we're about to go home already isn't that lovely she was born at 10 30 a.m. and it is currently 1 30 p.m. and we're going home and I'm very thankful because I'm delirious. Your handling is a lot better than the first one. I know. I feel a lot better th than I did the first time around. Like, I just feel... Feel at peace. Yeah, I was about to say that. I feel a lot calmer. <laughs> the first one, boy, you were... Fussing at everybody, woman, baby, woman, baby, woman, baby. I think it's just because I know what to expect, but also, like... Maturity, I don't know. That's the right word. Can you pound it? Pound it. Pound it. Maturity. That's all it is. We grow in every season. We go from glory to glory, faith to faith. I can't wait to see Laura. I can't wait to see her reaction. She's so excited. She already knows Elena's here. And she's very, very excited. And so are we. So.
are officially two weeks postpartum today. So Elena is two weeks old. I know the main question is probably going to be, um, did you record her birth? Did you record your labor and delivery? Unfortunately, the answer is no. Actually, it's not unfortunate because I could have if I wanted to. Um, but for some reason this time, I just I just didn't want to. Like I really wanted, it was basically just me and Elliot and I really wanted it to be, what's the word I'm looking for? Yes, I wanted it to be intimate and because this is our last baby, I kind of wanted to just keep that experience to myself. And it was very special, to say the least. And I'm glad I didn't record it. However, I do plan on doing a birth story, kind of like I did with Elora. Like when I sit down and explain everything that happened and just share my experience from my point of view but i wanted to see if elliot would be interested in doing like a whole podcast episode dedicated to it either that or i'll just have him sit down with me so that we can go through the whole experience together because i know from his point of view his point of view is probably way different than mine right when you say that well yeah just know i'm getting snipped <laughs> so yeah, um, I do plan on doing that. So yeah, we're two weeks and I feel like like since we've gotten home from the hospital, up until about a week postpartum things were like kind of on the up and up, but I feel like they like peaked at this point and now they're slowly starting to decline. I wouldn't call it baby blues. I would just say it's more like sleep deprivation than anything because uh, little sis has her days and nights confused. And when I say it is wearing all of us out, including her. So yeah, we're just extremely tired, sleep deprived, all of that. So I don't think it's baby blues. I just think it's the fact that I'm not sleeping. And it is extremely difficult to function at an optimal level when you're sleep deprived, especially when you have another kid and the kid is small, like a three year old. So yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of trying to like navigate through all of that. And it's been difficult, but I'm still nowhere near how I felt when I gave birth to Elora. Like I just, those days were such a blur. And I just remember, I don't remember anything else other than the eerie feeling that I felt like those first few weeks being postpartum with her. We are nursing, breastfeeding. That's going really well because she takes bottles. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see, I plan to do, and I don't hold me accountable because y'all know how I am, but I do really wanna do like a postpartum and a newborn essential kind of video. So hopefully I can have those done sometime within the next couple of weeks. I have a lot of content that we're about to be cranking out and I'm excited for it because although I'm sleep deprived and tired and exhausted, I feel okay enough to work, you know? Because there are some things that uh, I feel like I need to share as far as like postpartum and newborn essentials, especially if you're like a second time mom. I don't have any clothes on her right now because we've been trying to uh, correct this day and night confusion. I tried to get her to wake up earlier by stripping her naked and it didn't work. <laughs> it worked for like two seconds until she started getting upset that she was awake. So if you're not subscribed to my newsletter, I'd advise you to do so. Um, there is a specific way that I want to share more personal content that I really don't care to share on YouTube especially since my last video. Um, <laughs> I would just rather keep things personal and share that kind of content with the people who actually take the time out to subscribe to my newsletter. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna have a link in the description box. Um, Yeah, there's, there's just a lot that I want to say and share, and um, I'm just trying to take advantage of the fact that my husband is off for 10 more weeks. 
<laughs> so uh, I gotta hurry up. I'm, I'm trying to pick and choose the things that I share and like the kind of personal intimate moments in my life. I'm not in the business of just sharing any and everything anymore. So yeah, all in all, I think I'm doing okay. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to share. My postpartum healing is not necessarily going too well, not as well as it went with Allura. So after I gave birth to her, I was bleeding for only like a week and the bleeding wasn't heavy at all. It was just like I was on my period. This time I have had to go back to the hospital and there's been multiple complications i'll just keep it at that so i'm still kind of working through that elliot is not happy right now because of the way that these doctors are kind of just brushing me off but we'll talk about that later make sure you subscribe to the newsletter um if you're not subscribed to the channel turn on your post notifications follow me on instagram all of that good stuff because now that this video is out i can finally just like real open up and share all of the things that I've been keeping to myself you know so where's Laura? Laura did you just hide? So for today, they went to church. I did not. However, what are you going to uh, church next week? Mm, not next yeah. week. Maybe the week after. She's I four. Yeah, I was telling the Tracy, she was like, hey, when do you think she's gonna come? Um, I said, at first I said Easter, but I said no. Nah, when is Easter? Wife. April? Yeah, I said that's too long. I might, I might go when my parents come. My mom is really good at smacking people's hands away and telling them no. So yeah, every time I get on FaceTime and I look presentable, my, they're like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I just like to get myself together every day because that makes oh, me feel, way, it truly makes me feel alive, like, like a refresh, a reset, especially when I'm sleep deprived. So um, I neglected myself big time after I gave birth to Laura, but I'm not doing that this time because and I think I've just gotten into a, a, a habit of, you know, taking care of myself. That should be the bare minimal, right? It makes me sad when, when other moms say that their kids cause them to stop taking care of themselves and they don't shower and brush their teeth. Now, granted, I understand like when you have a newborn and you're trying to get into the swing of things and all of that but the way newborns sleep this girl literally sleeps all day every day so if i don't shower it's because i'm just lazy and don't feel like it and i have been taking showers every day what are you doing so um yeah i have to do a little bit of work i'm gonna wash laura's hair and twist it tonight um i was thinking cooking meatloaf sometime this week maybe I don't know how you feel about that but you should be doing the cooking I was I've been thinking through what to cook but I want to cook the chicken rice bowl and chill rice yeah. but you can cook it for you on the road I'll eat a sandwich oh another project that I have to do this week my brother Ben y'all saw him in this vlog he hung our last two frames for the gallery wall now the issue that i have with this gallery wall is that the middle frames get crooked easily because they're only on one nail and they're very lightweight um but i have to get photos to fill these frames i'm trying to wait until we do our like newborn family shoot if we even do one i want to do one because i didn't even get to take maternity pictures um so I'm trying to wait till then and then I also have to fill our bedroom frames because we don't have any pictures in there either. I'm really horrible at filling photo frames with photos. What are you doing? I'm not talking to you, but you know you're not supposed to be doing that. Yeah, you know you're not supposed to be climbing like that, right? 
let's not do it again. Thank you for all of the love and the congrats and all of the sweet messages and all of the things. We're doing well. I think we're doing well as a family. What do you say? We're just trying our best to get adjusted the best way we can, you know? Where are you going, girl? Just be on the lookout for the rest of everything that we have planned and I'll talk to you guys then.